In this PCB tutorial, you will learn how to design a voltage regulator circuit using Altium Designer. This video covers the schematic diagram of the circuit. We're going to figure out how to find the components and how to make the electrical connections between them. So let's get started. First of all, we're going to create a new project in Altium Designer under File, New, Project. We are going to name it as Voltage Regulator 1. And I'm going to copy the name. And we're going to create it. So it's going to take some time. And as you can see, our Voltage Regulator project is there. If I right click uh, on my mouse, I can add uh, some files to my project, which they are like uh, schematic, PCB, schematic library or PCB library. What we need for this project is only schematic and PCB. And I'm going to rename these files as my uh, uh, project uh, name, which is voltage regulator one as well as for the PCB voltage regulator one. I'm gonna save my project to server, hit okay, and we are good to go. So in this schematic diagram, uh, we have to define our components, we have to place them on this area, and we need to make some electrical connections between them. So how we can find these components? We can find them under panel, manufacture part search, and we can search the uh, desired component over here, or we can look through them uh, in these areas, like passive components, connectors, and so on. So the first and main component which we're going to place is the voltage regulator, which is 7805. Uh, I'm gonna use true whole components. I'm gonna write them as well, I see. So in the manufacturer part search, there are lists of some components uh, in this area. Let's have a look at this green uh, component over here, which is colored actually, which is not grayed out like these uh, components. The difference between them is that this component has a 3D model, as you can see over here. But these components, they don't have any uh, schematic model or footprints. So we are going to use the components with 3D model. Let's have a look at this component. The voltage regulator has three pins, input, output, and ground. Here you can find some information about this component. Uh, number of pins, three. Uh, minimum input voltage is zero, uh, seven volts, up to 25 volts. And the output is going to be, of course, five volts. And the component is also true hole. So here is the schematic model, and here is the footprint, and here is the 3D model. So if I press Shift and use my uh, right click on my mouse, I can drag it and I can see the 3D model. So this component looks good. I'm going to hit uh, right click and place. We're going to place it in the middle of the schematic diagram. Again, right click. We don't need this for now. So if I hit control and uh, use my mouse wheel, I can zoom in and zoom out. So let's double click on this component. Under designator, we're going to name it as U1. And under component, uh, the component name is there, which is OK. So let's close it. And if we go through the data sheet of the component, uh, Texas Instruments 7805. You can find so many information. Uh, here, the manufacturer has instructed us to use uh, two capacitors as input and output. One of them 0.22 microfarad, and another one uh, we're going to use a 10 microfarad capacitor. Uh, this capacitor is used when, when the power supply is located far away from the regulator so that we can uh, stabilize the voltage and filter out any noise, noise or fluctuations in the power supply. Uh, 
So, I'm sorry, Altium Designer. I can look through the components under manufacturer part search and I can write like uh, true hole capacitors. But uh, I've already did this, uh, I've already done this, and here are my capacitors. My first capacitor and DG key. Uh, I'm going to use electrolyte uh, capacitor. The value is 2.2 microfarad, but um, whenever we are going to solder the capacitor, we are going to actually use 0.22 microfarad as stated in uh, data sheet. So, in this area, you can see some information. Manufacturer product number. I'm going to copy it. Go to Altium Designer. I'm going to paste it in Manufacturer Part Search. Hit Enter. There it is, our component has 3D model. So schematic model, the capacitor is polarized, plus and minus, and here's the 3D view. Right click, place. I'm gonna place it over here. Right click again. And for the other capacitor, let's have a look in the data sheet C2. I'm going to use a 10 microfarad capacitor. Here is it is stated as 22 microfarad, but it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna again copy the manufacturer part number and I'm gonna uh, paste it in the manufacturer part search. So the component is found uh, and it has a 3D model. It's also electrolytic capacitor. I'm gonna place it over here. Perfect. Now, what we need to do is to uh, place some bypass capacitors, one for the input and one for the output. So I've already done that. Here is a, my ceramic capacitor, which is 0 0.1 microfarad. I'm going to copy the manufacturer part search panels, the manufacturer part uh, number. I'm going to paste it over here. So the component, the component has been found. Uh, it has a 3D model. Uh, also, you can um, have a look at the data sheet, and here are some information: maximum operating temperature, and to, and also some as a uh, positive tolerance, 10%. We're going to place it over here and here, and we are done with the capacitor. So. Let's rename this capacitor. So if I double click on the component, I can name it as C1. This one C2. C3. And C4. And we are going to assign the values for these capacitors. So instead of uh, showing the manufacturer part number in the comment section i can delete it and write the value so first of all we're going to copy the micro symbol see signs don't have it on my keyboard so micro symbol i'm gonna copy it close this page and i can write down 0 0.22 microfarad so the value is there. For the second one, uh, second one also, we're going to use 0 0.1 uh, microfarad bypass capacitor as well as the last capacitor, 0 0.1 microfarad. And for this capacitor, we're going to use 10 microfarad capacitor. So the important thing is that these values are important when you are going to solder your components on your PCBs. But it's also important, for example, let's say you are going to grab a thousand microfarad capacitor from this manufacturer part search, and thousand microfarad capacitor has also uh, a big uh, dimensions in shape. So in the PCB, when we are going to later um, place those components on our PCB, it doesn't help us when we are going to use a much larger capacitor instead of our uh, desired capacitor. So make sure that you uh, 
take a suitable amount uh, su suitable value for your capacitor I can also rotate these components using a space I can rotate them 90 degrees perfect and I can make some electrical con connections right now so the cathode of the cat um, capacitors has to be grounded so we, I can go and click on place wire or use Control w on my keyboard I'm going to connect all the cathodes of the capacitor to each other and we're going to drag the component uh, name on the above again Control w and I'm also going to connect the ground uh, terminal of the voltage regulator to the cathodes of the capacitor and we're going to place a ground power port in the middle control w and connect it to the cathodes perfect and the anodes of the capacitor have to be connected to the output terminals of the regulator this capacitor to the input terminal of the regulator and i can position them better so in the middle if I can do that yeah that's perfect so let's save it, the project for now and let's grab uh, two other components for the circuit uh, I'm gonna use a shotty diode why I'm gonna use it uh, we're going to use it um, connect it over here to the input so that it can prevent the reverse current flow from the power so whenever the power is connected reversely the, the component is not going to be damaged so I've already found the suitable shotty diode uh, manufacturer product number we're going to copy it manufacturer part search I'm gonna paste it over here hit enter so let's see if we get a 3d view so it's colored in green therefore we have a 3d view that's the model and that's the footprint and 3d model so let's place it where we are going to place it we're going to place it in input so that we can get a uh, so that when when the power when the input is connected to power so this diode is going to uh, forward the power in, di in one direction and it's going to reverse it when the uh, power is connected in different direction so it's for the um, prevention of any damage for the IC and other, the comp and other components so the last part the last component is actually our uh, board connector connector header so that we can place our um, our battery or our power supply to these pins as uh, positive and negative so let's copy it and search for it on a manufacturer part search in Altium designer paste it so there it is our board connector with two contacts and I'm gonna place one for input so that we can place our let me grab this over here place it as input and I'm gonna place another one on the output and I'm gonna rotate it so that the pins are going to be phased out these pins they're going to be phased out towards the output pin of the voltage regulator since we're going to measure the uh, output voltage to understand if we are going to get 5 volts or no so let's connect the board connector to the circuit pin 2 to VCC and pin 1 to ground this connector also as well the first pin goes to the diode and the second one to ground you can also play with these wires uh, so that it looks better so as you can see there is a yellow line over here which indicates that um, maybe the connection uh, is wrong or maybe the, 
designator name is not there yet so if as you can see we have two connectors over here so we have to name them properly properly the first one is going to be j1 we can also hide this comment over here so as you can see i can hide the uh, component uh, number because it's not really important in our semantic diagram and this one j2 i'm gonna hide the comment so as you can see the line is gone and everything looks good right now all connections are made i can also use some text over place text string and if i hit tab a page will be opened i can write down my text so input we're gonna bold it and font i would say 14 so uh, click over uh, this button and input so for the output I can copy it paste it over here double click and I'm gonna write it output so let's delete this so that's it with our voltage regulator schematic diagram we're going to uh, insert um, 7 volts to 25 volts as input to this circuit so if the connections if the power connections are in reverse it's going to be blocked by the diode but if they are in proper position plus and minus the current is going to flow through the diode and uh, it's going to be rectified through these uh, capacitors and uh, ground connection is uh, to the ground port over here and on the output we are going to get 5 volts we can measure these 5 volts through this uh, board connector over here. So that's it with the schematic. In the next video, we're going to import these uh, components to the PCB file over here. And we're going to uh, continue our connections in PCB area.